Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Now, I am in beautiful Koh Lanta. It's about 34 degrees today. It is hot, Whoa, a little bit wobbly there. Um, it's sunny and it's beautiful. Um, just on the last few days, there's lots of videos coming out. They've obviously, they've changed the entry requirements and there's all sorts of opinions flying about whether you should come to Thailand, whether you shouldn't come to Thailand. Um, Thailand's dead, Thailand's finished, blah de blah de blah. I'm not going to tell you whether to come or not, but I'm just going to give you my um, experiences of being here over the last six weeks, coming in on the Test and Go program, and I'll leave you to make your mind up whether you want to come in or not. But first of all, the must things you must have, insurance. You've got to have a certain level of insurance anyway, but I would strongly recommend having one that covers you for asymptomatic um coverage in case you get a positive test for covid and are quarantined in a hotel even if you test positive in certain areas of the country you can be put into quarantine um, and if you've not got any symptoms your insurance generally won't pay out i've got a time policy through a company called tune protect there's also axa um, which is another one what a lot of people use even if you're not um if you're not sick they will still pay out yeah, you can get probably get on a 50, 50 pound cheap one from the UK or a hundred dollar one from the US, but really it's not worth it. It's a false economy. Um, I paid one hundred and seventy pounds for three months, but that's really strong coverage, and I know people who've had that policy and have been paid out and have not had to pay a penny. So please consider getting good insurance, and you just need to be a bit more open minded about things, guys. Um, it's obviously. COVID times, so if you've been to Thailand before, it's not going to be exactly the same as it's before. You're going to be hanging around, there's going to be more checks, um, there's going to be things what you going on regarding COVID, what you might not necessarily agree with, but don't be an arse about it, just accept it and move on. Okay, so let's do the disadvantages first. Let's do it a different way to everyone else. Disadvantage of being in Thailand at the moment, in my opinion masks you are required to wear a mask at all times in public places personally i don't like them it's the one thing that i just really don't like about being here at the moment obviously i've got a great big beard as well but wearing a mask is hot it's sweaty i just don't like it however it's a twenty thousand baht fine if you are picked up by the police or they decide to fine you for doing it so it's not for me to go against it it's not my country I follow the rules, I wear a mask at all times. Now, I, I know there's strong opinions either way on this. If you are not vaccinated, it does make it a lot harder to travel around the country. Every plane journey I've been on from Bangkok to Krabi, from Koh Samui to Bangkok, from Bangkok to Koh Samui, they are scanning your Thai pass and they are also asking to see your vaccine um, certification before you get on the plane. If you don't have this, every time you wanna travel, you're gonna to have to get a negative um, COVID test. I don't know whether it's PCR or the cheaper one, the ATK test, I think it probably is the cheaper one, but you need to find that out for yourself. So it will make it harder to travel around if you are not vaccinated. Even checking into hotels, I am always asked for my vaccine for proof of vaccination. So you must bear that in mind. Not everything is open here, guys. A lot of the Colanta, I'd say about 50% of the stuff is open. So your favorite restaurant you've been to before, this amazing bar that you've read about on the internet and you can't wait to go to, there's a chance that it won't be open. A lot of businesses that have been really popular in the past, very, very sadly, haven't survived. So you must bear that in mind as well. You've also got to bear in mind, I touched on it earlier, if you test positive at any stage for the famous COVID, there is a high chance that you will be asked or you will be taken to quarantine. And it will be, if you're ill, they'll put you in quarantine in hospital. If you're not sick, it's a strong chance you'll go to what they call a hospital, which is a hotel with medical staff on call. Certain areas now, they are going towards home quarantine, but whether it's only certain areas of the country um, so you must bear in that in mind and that is about seven to ten days so if you're only here for two weeks you've got to bear in mind that if day two or day three you test positive boom rest of your holiday you could be in quarantine and 
just because you were going home on a certain day, if you're in quarantine, they're not going to let you out and not let you go on the plane. So you will have to stay longer and you will have to test negative before they're going to let you back on that plane. Okay, so there are disadvantages. Advantages. Okay, first of all, accommodation, hotels, guest houses, whatever you want, are cheap. There are some incredible, never never seen before and probably never to be seen again deals at the moment. If you're into your five star hotels, three, four thousand baht for a night in a suite in a, in a four star hotel. If you're into your budget accommodation, the, poof, this place I'm staying at, this is normally about a thousand baht, twelve hundred baht a night. I paid just under four hundred baht a night for it in peak season on one of the most popular tourist islands in Thailand there is accommodation to suit everyone so if you normally wouldn't be able to afford five star definitely you can afford five star if you always go budget still go budget you'll save some money you can save it in another activity so accommodation fantastic fantastic you're also seeing Thailand like it's probably never been seen for so many years there's nowhere near as many tourists here, which is, yeah, it's great if you're here as a tourist. It's not so great if you've got a business here. So if you are coming here, yeah, enjoy it, but also spend a bit of money as well, yeah? Make sure you um, spend a little bit more than you would normally. Throw a bit of money around. It's great to see. Not so great for Thai people trying to run a business or wherever in the world. Um, as I said before, it's less crowded, which means if you like the outdoor stuff, nature seems to have sort of healed itself. I do a lot of scuba diving, I like going snorkeling and stuff like that. Um, the coral is in fantastic condition. There's marine life around that's all never come in, come in these areas before because there's been it's been overcrowded with snorkelers and divers and things like that. So it's absolutely amazing to see. Fingers, fingers crossed, whatever happens, um, when tourism comes back in force, they take care not to uh, allow nature to, um, you know, be destroyed again. I really, that's the one thing to, I really hope doesn't happen again, that tourism and money do not overtake um, nature. Thai people are really happy to see you. Don't forget, um, most people have had no money for the last 18 months, for the last two years. So you're here, you're in the country. Thai people in the tourist industry, so, so happy to see you. Um, Thai people are generally happy anyway. You will know about the Thai smile and everything like that and what a friendly country it is. But I found it even more just over these last six, seven weeks travelling around. And that, guys, really is it, okay? Am I going to tell you to come? No, am I going to tell you not to come? No, I'm not. You make that decision um, yourself, but I just thought I would just give you my experiences over the last few weeks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks to everyone who subscribed so far, and thank you to everyone who's commented and liked. If you have enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. It's all I ask. I don't need anything else from you, but it really helps me and helps the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon.